Welcome to our Christmas carol service. We can't be live in the Market Square this year, but of course we can still go on in true Belper style. There have been lots of contributions. You've already heard one from Rough Truffles to get us started this evening, but lots more traditional carols. The words will be on the screen and you can join in and sing your heart out. If you can stand on your doorstep and sing, even better. There'll be prayers and readings as we go through and an opportunity to reflect on what has happened in the past year and what the future may hold for us. But first of all, a few words from the Mayor of Belfast. Hi everyone, I'm Emma, Emma Monkman, I'm the Mayor for Belfast. Uh, I'm still in the marketplace, which is where we normally be having the carol service on Christmas Eve, but we'll be having it online instead to keep you all safe. So I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't, season's greetings. I hope that we, have, we all have a very healthy, happy, prosperous 2021. God of all the world, may we hear today the good news of your love, whether in a quiet whisper or an exultant song. And may your love bring peace and joy in and through us. Amen. The angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And so I invite you to join in our very first carol, Once in Royal David's City.
the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. 
While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them.
In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. No! 
to be told that this year is a Christmas like no other any of us have ever experienced. We may be able to meet up with family, but for many the decision will not to be not to meet up at all. But there will be some things that will remain the same as we are used to. It is still a time to care for one another. And as we look back over a year that has been filled with exceptional care, we cannot but be amazed. There will be sadness as we remember those who've died, those who've lost their jobs, those who've lost their livelihood. But we're also thankful for the small businesses here in Belper, most of which seem to have survived with the encouragement of you all. And also we can be thankful for all who have looked after us and our loved ones in so many different ways. But whatever has changed during this year, there is one overarching thing this Christmas that hasn't changed. Christmas is the time set aside to remember the coming of Jesus to be Emmanuel, God with us. And whether you are a person of faith or not, your whole life has been affected by that event. Love your neighbour. That great theme of this year was Jesus teaching. Don't look after number one, but look after others. Serve others from a position of vulnerability was taught to us by the servant king. We have seen love at work this year, and it is meant to be as people loved openly and with generosity. Love that makes a difference in the lives of friend and stranger. Many of us got to know our neighbours better when standing outside our houses and mooing. If I'd suggested that a year ago, you'd all have thought I'd probably lost the plot. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God lives in them. This is how God showed his love among us, that he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. So this Christmas time, whatever you believe, find a moment to remember the King of Love who taught us everything we know and whose birthday we are celebrating and who walks with us through these difficult times and brings to all tidings of comfort and joy and offers that as his gift to us this Christmas. Amen. Gaudete, gaudete, Christus es matus, ex Maria Virginale, gaudete, 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 Christus es matus, ex Maria Virginale, gaudete. Tempus ad est gratiae, hoc quod opta pamus, camina laticia, Benedicat 
Vita Domino, Salus Regi Nostro, Gaudi Te, Gaudi Te, Christus es Natus, Ex Maria Virgine, Gaudi Te, Gaudi Te, Gaudi Te, Christus es Natus, Ex Maria Virgine, Gaudi Te. Silent Night. I uh, hope you can still sing along. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, around yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild. to a short time of prayer. Lord, we pray for each person in their homes or wherever they may be tonight. We pray for each family represented and we give thanks. We hold every single one of them in our hands to you. And we stand alongside any who are grieving at this time and pray that they may find new peace and comfort this Christmas time. We pray that we may join together in your presence amongst us, wherever we are. And we will be able to gather to know your love for us. And we will know our Christmas, however unusual it is, to be truly filled with your Spirit. Amen. Loving God, help us to remember the birth of Jesus, that we can share in the songs of the angel, the gladness of the shepherds, and the worship of the wise men, that we may close the door of hate and fear and open a door of love and care all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings. And teach us to be merry with clear, honest hearts. And may Christmas morning make us happy to be your children. And Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving 
and forgiven. May we have had contact with our families and with those that we love and care for, whether in our own homes or far distant, and been able to share with them the joy of another Christmas. Amen. So we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we come to the last carol in our more formal part of the service, that great hymn, O Come, All Ye Faithful. I'm so and joy. May we know your presence with us today and bring your gentle joyful love to others this Christmas and always. Amen. So may the blessing of Christmas be with you. May the Christ child light your way. May God's holy angels guide you and keep you safe each day. Amen. And now you might want to enjoy a bit of wild singing. We've got Ding Dong Merrily on High, The Boar's Head Carol 
And to finish off our total time together, Jingle Bells. I may I take this opportunity to wish you a peaceful and grace-filled Christmas. Amen. Just.